So you're getting your motorcycle out for the first time this spring. We've just had a lockdown as well. And it's not out of the realms of possibility that you're gonna push your motorbike out and it's got a flat battery, it just won't start. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a trick what I've learned over the past year to help you get it bump started. There she goes! Successful! <laughs> so I learned this trick from my dad. He used to race 350 two strokes back in the 1980s and they would uh, not have a start motor on their motorcycle in order to race them. You had to uh, run up to the bike, push it along, get it bump started and then head down the start finish straight or wherever you start in the race. Um, basically it's the same trick but we're applying it to um, whichever motorcycle you've got. Uh, my bike is a four-cylinder motor and you can quite easily do uh, a, ru uh, a running bump start with this motorcycle. Um, I will say it's much more difficult to do on twin cylinder motorcycles and if you've got single cylinders you really really need to run hard and have quite a bit of weight behind it as well because the cylinders are a lot harder to get going. Four cylinders ones on the other hand are much easier to do um, and also as well if you've got a super modern motorbike with lots of electronics that might get in the way as well um, but it does work with a huge amount of motorcycles and it's super useful as well especially if you've not got a mate with you to push it so let me show you what we're about to do so look what we're looking to do is turn the motorcycle on get it into first gear um, and you'll know that by whether it free wheels or whether it goes into the gear or not obviously kick your side stand up and then what we're going to do is run full pelt with it as fast as we can um, and then when we get to sort of like <laughs> velocity max or whatever then we're going to jump on the motorcycle with our bum on this side of, of, the, of the bike we're going to drop the clutch and by that point it should turn over and start firing up now obviously from a safety point of view the, the biggest risk um, with this particular trick is it toppling over that way. Some of you guys might have seen uh, Marquez topple over while he was trying to bump start it. Now that is avoidable, but um, only by not getting too straight with your run. You always sort of need to keep the bike at an angle. What I'm gonna do, I'll put the GoPro on and we're also filming it as well. So hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing as I go to do this bump start. So now let's give it a go. Get into first gear. There we go, she's in. And it's a bit like cool run-ins this. Ah. There she goes. Successful. <laughs> and I didn't fall off. I'll try it again so you can see it again from a different angle. So, again, you've got to turn the starter switch on, have it in your first gear, and then really just motor as fast as you can. It will snap, so you've got to open the clutch and then quickly close it again as you feel it drive off. And uh, as you can tell, it works. That little trick right there will save you a huge amount of hassle if you can do it. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think a bit of practice helps. Um, I think you've just got to be a little bit careful with the clutch that when you do let it out, you snap it straight back in as well, uh, as soon as you feel the motor start to turn over. But I really hope that that trick is helpful. I think it could uh, save you a bit of hassle. It's particularly useful as well when you haven't got a friend to, to push the back of you and you sat on it. I think it gets you out of a bit of bother as well. And if you can't get booked into a garage to get something changed, the battery fitted if you're not confident doing that, or Perhaps you've got a problem with your starter motor or something. Um, 
means you can keep riding your bike basically. You can also do it down a hill as well, but you know, we haven't always got hills where we have a stationary motorcycle. So that little skill is uh, pretty helpful. Hope you find it too. Um, I'm pretty out of breath to be honest. It's a bit embarrassing. No, I hope you enjoyed that one. Please like, please comment, please check out the Knox range and we'll see you in the next video.